Tonight, five criminal charges filed against a black man who was hospitalized after a traffic stop are dismissed. A federal lawsuit accusing three officers of using excessive force when arresting 29-year-old Dalvin Gatson is ongoing. We do want to warn you the video in this story is graphic and may be difficult for some viewers to watch. Carradio News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live at the Colorado Springs Police Operations Center to explain what Gatson and his legal team are calling for. Annabelle. Bart Heather, tonight Dalvin Gadsden's legal team is celebrating the fact that these charges are dismissed, but they are still pushing for accountability and action from the Colorado Springs Police Department. Hands behind my back. Yes, you're going to be detained in handcuffs. Oh, no, I'm not. You're about to stand up. This body worn camera video shows when Colorado Springs police pulled over Dalvin Gadsden last October. Officers arrested him for a missing license plate. Gadsden faced six charges following the incident, including two counts of assault of an officer. From the beginning, uh, we believe the charges should have been brought. The, the DA dismissed the assault charges immediately. Monday, prosecutors dismissed three more, leaving just one remaining. Gadsden pleaded guilty to the traffic infraction for the missing plate, paying only a $15 fine. We see uh, how lack of training and, and chaos uh, what 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 can happen? Gadsden's legal team is calling for the Colorado Springs Police Department to consider terminating the employment of the officers involved or to implement new training policies. I will hope that the Colorado Police Department do a thorough uh, internal review of this matter. The Colorado Springs Police Department tells KRDO that their investigation is ongoing. But as of now, the three officers involved are still working for the department. Gadsden previously said that he will not feel safe in Colorado Springs until those employees are fired. But the police department says Chief Adrian Vasquez cannot comment on this case as it is still in litigation. Reporting live at the Colorado Springs Police Department, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. Annabelle, thanks.